Hello and welcome my Aquarius friends. This is Jennifer from Mystic Star. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today and watching my video. This is going to be a group angel reading for my friends born under the Aquarius zodiac sign. This is your October angel reading. As you guys asked, I'm going to be doing monthly angel readings for you. Today we're going to look at the messages, guidance, and information that the angels and archangels want to share with you. Now if you're interested in learning more about angels and archangels, I will be running an online interactive class in November. We're going to look at things like how to connect in with your guardian angel, um, what angels are available to support you, and I'm going to kind of go into some of the more well-known archangels and how they can help you. If you're interested in this class, you can follow the link below to my classes page where you can find out more information and register. Now the deck I chose for this reading is the Angel Tarot. I'll be ending off the session with a blessing from the Angel Inspiration deck. Now a few Archangels asked me if I could also do a healing draw, so I'm going to be pulling a card at the end from the Healing with Angels cards. Like always, there are links below to all these Angel Tastic decks, so should they speak to you, you can go check them out for yourselves. Alright my Aquarius friends, let's see what the cards have to say. What card symbolizes the overall message? Oh, I've got a jumper. That the angels and archangels want to share, got another jumper, with my Aquarius friends. And we've got a third jumper. The first one. Oh, we're starting off the bang. Death. The 13th card in the Major Arcana. Well, Aquarius, things need to change. That is going to be the overall feel of this reading. The angels are very clear that things have to change. And to go with that, we have strength. Now, I have no idea why Jane decided to put strength as the ninth card. However, I'm going to be reading this as the traditional strength, and strength is always the eighth card in the Major Arcana. And also, the Two of Pentacles. Twos are about duality and choice. Pentacles are about that growth and abundance. Now, I, I've said this before in other videos, I don't like how Jane has put labels on these cards, so you, you could read them. They may not be what I'm talking about though, okay? So the overall message that the angels are saying to you, Aquarius, is that things need to change. You need to have more balance in your life and you need to really rely on that inner abilities, those inner strengths, those core abilities that you have. This isn't about society, this isn't about what others think. This is about you and balancing you out. All right, let's look at the messages. What further messages do the angels and archangels have for my Aquarius friends. Oh, that's fantastic. I love it when it, they jump and they, they jump to the floor. That's always really exciting. There is a lot the angels want to share with you today, Aquarius. The first one is the Six of Cups. Sixes are about that balance and harmony. Cups are about that intuition and emotion. We now have two balancing cards. It's going to be super important. Not only do you balance that intuitional, emotional side, but that physical grounding side as well. You need to have that spiritual and physical planes more balanced than what they are right now. To help us out, the Queen of Cups. Queens are that nurturing feminine energy. Cups are about that intuition and emotion. The Queen of Cups is going to help us control our emotions because it's really easy for us to kind of fly off the wall. Control them and rely more on our intuition than that emotional state. And that's going to be key as we overcome and change things up a bit. And then we have the Ten of Wands. Tens are an ending and a beginning. Wands are about that inner fire, that passion, that drive. The Ten of Wands talks about working too hard 
for what it is we're trying to achieve. We're overworking ourselves. We're overthinking things. In the original Rider Waite, the Ten of Wands shows a man with ten wands up in front of his face and he's trudging towards a village. Not only is he working way too hard, he's also not seeing what's right in front of his face. And that's going to be an important piece. That's something we're missing. We know things have to change. Death is here. We can either resist death and cause us more hardship and pain, or we can assist him and have less hardship and pain and have more joy in control on what's happening. All right. What guidance do the angels and archangels have for my Aquarius friends? Okay, we've got a number of jumpers. <laughs> Sorry, the Queen of Cups is one of the most intuitional cards in the deck. There's only one more that is more intuitional. And you just got her, my Aquarius friends. The High Priestess. She is the two, a second card in the Major Arcana, and she talks about that need for connecting into our intuition, connecting into that universal knowledge, and also finding those hidden talents that we have thrown into that back of our body, those that proverbial closet where we've hidden our shadow self, those pieces that we don't like to acknowledge, and we've shoved into the back. She's going to help us find them. She's also a gatekeeper. She's going to help us step out of what death is going to take from us and step into that light, step into what's really important for us. Now we also have double twos. In angel messages, when you're looking at double twos, you're attracting what you're thinking about. So when you're thinking that things aren't going right, things are a challenge, I can't do this, that's exactly what you're attracting. What the angels want you to do is start to attract that positive, loving, unconditional loving energy. That's what you're going to attract into your life and that's how it's going to expand. Then we have justice. Here it says it's the eighth card in the major arcana, but it's really the ninth card in the Major Arcana. Like I said, I don't understand why she flipped these two cards, but she did. In my mind, there are, we have eight and nine. In my mind, there's a lot of different things that happen, but that's how we're going to do this reading. The ninth card in the Major Arcana, Justice, talks about, again, that balancing aspect. However, it also talks about cutting out that crap. She is another gatekeeper. Both these ladies are going to help guide us through the sort of truth and knowledge and the balancing so that we can really connect into that high priestess and really step into that universal love and light. And the final card that jumped out, the Ace of Pentacles. Aces are always a gift. Pentacles are about growth and abundance. These two lovely ladies are talking about really expanding that wealth and abundance in your life. When you truly step into that love and light and you put out loving, unconditional loving energy, that's what you're going to get back. And that's when you're going to start to see that in very strange places, you're going to find money flowing towards you. All right. And finally, what further information and guidance do the angels and archangels have? Got a jumper there? For my Aquarius friends. Okay, got two jumpers. The first one, the Page of Cups. Pages are that childlike energy, full of inquisical, playful energy. The cups are about intuition and emotion. The angels want you to know this is not a chore. Please don't think it is one. You're not going to have to be hoovering up your, your back closets. This is more about enjoying this journey. Death is going to take what isn't working. He's going to work with the justice and cut out the crap. 
some of that crap we have emotional ties to and that's going to be hard. Your ego will be screaming. However, if you start to really enjoy and play in this, getting your hands dirty, having some fun, doing what those passions that really light your fires, you're going to find that things really start to pull up and you're going to have that abundance piece, which can't be any more clearer than this card, the Empress. She's the third card in the Major Arcana and she talks about abundance, growth, and fertility. Not only are you going to see growth, but you're going to see things created. Fertility doesn't always mean babies. It also means new ideas, new projects, new things in your life. And that's what this is going to bring for you, Aquarius, is that new, that exciting aspect of creating. And the most important piece of this is that you're going to be creating out of light and love and things are gonna really feel fulfilling for you. All right, let's look at what your shadow self wants to add to this. And that's the Six of Wands. Like I said before, sixes are about that harmony and balance. Wands about that passion, that inner fire. Your shadow self wants to remind you that this is going to be built on this passion, those things that make you happy. And that's gonna really radiate through everything and really help push you forward in it. Now we do have double sixes. In angel messages, when you're looking at double sixes, you're looking at a message of balancing your thoughts with your physical and spiritual worlds. You can't do this if you're not balancing things out. I said that at the beginning, you have to balance out that physical aspect with that spiritual aspect. And that's what the angels are very clearly telling you here. All right, my Aquarius friends, let's look at a blessing. What blessing? Do the angels and archangels have for my Aquarius friends? And you get two for the price of one. You have to speak from the heart. This, like I said, has to come from that inner source. Controlling and balancing out your, your emotions so that you can move yourself forward. And the next one is Archangel Zedekiel. He's fantastic. He helps you with judgment and compassion. He's gonna be working with justice and helping kind of weed out what isn't working, but also he's gonna help give you compassion and help give you guidance on how to be more compassionate with yourself and others. This is, like I said, going to be a process. You need to be able to have compassion for yourself on not only healing yourself, but also allowing this to unfold in a natural order. This is gonna take as much time as it needs. Pushing it forward will not make it go any faster. It will only just cause heartache. Allowing it to unfold naturally and giving yourself that compassion when things are, are a little bit slower than you had anticipated. Zedekiel will also help us find that divine light in ourselves and others, which will help us speak from the heart. Anytime you feel lost or unsure, my Aquarius friends, you can call on Archangel Zedekiel and he'll help you. Now, if you have some clairvoyance or you're able to see angel colors or angelic auras, his is a dark purple. If you're not, that's okay. You can call on him still. There is zero communication problems between us and them. However, it's gonna be up to you, Aquarius, to decipher the symbols and messages that Archangel Zedekiel leaves for you. All right, let's look at a healing. All right, didn't even get the question out. What healing the angels and archangels have for my Aquarius friends? ideas and inspiration. It jumped out very early on in that shuffle. It's going to be important that you follow those those inspiration pieces. You've got lots of ideas. As Aquarius is an air sign and that's connected in with that knowledge piece, you've got lots of ideas. 
things will inspire you. The High Priestess will give you lots of knowledge to help push you forward. These ideas and inspirations will bring you more joy and energy to push yourself forward through this, this exciting journey. For those who wish, you can pause the video here and reflect on these cards. This is a group reading, however, I drew these cards especially for my Aquarius friends. What further information do the cards share? Like I said, this is a group reading. If you're looking for more personal or specific reading, you can follow the link below and schedule a private reading with myself. That said, I hope you found this video fun and helpful and that you're able to gain some direction and insight into what the angels and archangels want to share. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today and watching my video. I will continue to create videos for my friends in the upcoming weeks. If you have any ideas or suggestions, please leave them below. I'm always up for feedback from my friends. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest content. You never know where I'm going to go next and I'd really hate for you to miss a video. Also, if you like this video and want to support me in making more, I have a Patreon page with many tiers and lots of perks. In some of the tiers, the perks are private readings with myself. I've provided a helpful link below, so why not go check it out? Until tomorrow, my Aquarius friends. Bye.